Music theory is about understanding the intervals between notes, but on a piano keyboard, it can be hard to picture these intervals because of the black and white pattern of the keys. So let me explain that really quick and then show you a trick that helps. The keyboard is really just the same 12 notes repeated in different octaves. So if we zoom in on just one set, we have the basic pattern of the chromatic scale, which itself can be divided into 12 equal units or intervals called half steps or what some people call semitones. The distance between any note and the next one up or down is called a half step or a semitone. Those are half steps moving up, those are half steps moving down. And then two half steps make what's called a whole step, also known as a tone. So that's a whole step, whole step moving up, or whole steps moving down. Together, these two types of intervals, half steps and whole steps, are easy enough, and really all intervals in music come from these basic intervals, so they're really important to know, except for they can get a little confusing because of the black and white keys on the keyboard, because some of the intervals switch from black to white and vice versa. For example, from this white note, a half step or semitone above is black, while a half step below is white. And a whole step above is white, while a whole step below is black. And when we shift to another spot like this, the distance between black and white notes is reversed, where a half step above is white and a half step below is black, while a whole step above is black and a whole step below is white. And it's still different in other places on the keyboard. The uneven spacing between black and white notes doesn't match the even alternating pattern of half step and whole step intervals, but really all 12 notes in the chromatic scale are divided into equal units. So to picture this more intuitively, you can think of the intervals like this as an alternating pattern of squares and circles. So you can see which notes are separated by a half step or semitone, whether they're black or white. As you move from square to circle, and then circle to square, square to circle, and so on, moving up the chromatic scale, or down the chromatic scale. They're all half step intervals. And the whole step intervals or tones are easy to see as well because they're all squares or circles. So these alternating shapes give you a kind of x-ray vision to see the underlying intervals, which are what really matters when it comes to playing scales and modes and chords and progressions without getting distracted by the black and white pattern of the keyboard.